All right, you guys. It's me again. Yay, another video. Can you believe it? Um, obviously, I'm just I'm taping this right after I did my six week or seven week postpartum video. But I just want to get this out of the way because I know a lot of you guys um, were pregnant or are pregnant, and um, I wanted to share this with you guys because it's been helpful to me. When I was pregnant with Milani, my boss had told me about this. Um, method that helped her a lot with her son when like you know he was crying or just upset because you know sometimes babies have their moments where they're just crying for no reason you know they've been fed they've had their diaper change they've had all those things and they're still just like not happy right I fortunately I haven't experienced a lot of that like Romero has been really good like he's he seems happy to be out with Milani she seemed kind of mad to be in this new world that she was in but Romero he seems relatively happy like he's a really happy baby but I think that these methods are still useful and the number one method has been very useful for me so um basically the idea of this whole thing is that um of course my little note thing oh no I lost it guys um well I'll have to try to remember anyway sorry um oh there it is hold on Okay, <clears throat> the idea of this is there's five steps that you can take, and you guys might have heard of this, I don't know, I had never heard of it except for from my boss, but there's five steps that you can take that are supposed to help calm your baby and like make them feel, like just comfort them, that reminds them of the womb and makes them think of, you know, makes them feel more comfortable now that they're out here in this new world. <clears throat> and it's called the five S's um system five s's system and there's some doctor has he has this whole scientific explanation about everything but there's basically five steps that you can take when your baby just seems unconsolable like you know not hungry dry you know just isn't happy and the first step is to swaddle like i said in my other video romero loves to be like wrapped up and i really only have to wrap him up to keep him comfortable at night that's what his comfort is um but if your baby is just really upset swaddling them sometimes is enough to make them stop crying if just swaddling doesn't work then you'll move to the next step which is side laying or like in the stomach position so you'll swaddle your baby and then hold the baby like kind of on their side or on their stomach and just hold them that way and, and try to comfort them in that way if that doesn't work then you'll go to step three which is first the swaddle the side hold or the stomach position or then you'll add in the third step, which is shushing. Now, this step really does work. I swear, I swear to you guys. And it might seem weird if you see it, because they have videos um, on this whole method on YouTube, I think. I've seen them before. But if you hold your baby and you're right by their ear and you just shh in their ear, right? And it seems really weird. And it's like, why would you be shushing so loud in your kid's ear? And you don't have to do it really loud, but by shushing in their ear it calms them because it reminds them of the sound of the womb this really works like this calms Romero down all the time like when he's in that mode like getting tired and ready to fall asleep I'll, I'll, I'll wrap him up and just kind of bounce them a little bit and shush and he'll fall asleep it, it really does calm them down so those are the three um, that I would say I would have used and I think most of the time those work but if you need to go to step four the next one is swinging so you'll do all those three steps and then either swing the baby, you can put them in the swing, I think, or, you know, just to kind of get them in motion. And the last step, if none of the other ones have worked, is to give them, like, a pacifier. It's the sucking reflex, obviously, is very comforting to babies. Oh, I don't like that right there. Oh, oh sorry. Anyways, um, the sucking reflex is really, like, calming to them. And so you can give them a pacifier or whatever. I guess you would give a baby for them to suck. Um, and I think this method is supposed to be, like, most useful up to three months. And um, I thought I would just share it with you guys because um, you guys can try it. And if it works or if it's helped, let me know. I know that it helps with Milani. And I don't necessarily do it exactly like that, like, okay, check off this step, check off this step. I just kind of do it. But these five things, any of the mix, I think, works. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope it helps somebody. If it does, let me know, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.